Hello, welcome back to Stalker. Right now we're killing fools. This is actually a flash forward. See how we have a fancy M4? Yeah, this isn't gonna last long. Right now we're just uh, showing you a taste of what the combat's gonna turn into, where I just destroy fools, mopping up with grenades and heavy artillery. Check this out. Grenade for his bitch ass. Okay, so here we are, back to reality. We're stuck with the double barrel and the shitty pistol, but that's okay. Last thing we did was uh, we woke up on a table with a phone, and in the contacts there's one person, Strelik, so we gotta go find him because we have amnesia and he can maybe tell us who we are. We saved a guy named Fox, and Fox said, talk to Siri and you'll find out more. So I come over to this little base that's under attack, and I kill the bandits that are giving them trouble. Really quick too, I want to show you that this double barrel has the longest reload animation. So, watch. Two rounds, close it, pull back the... Oh look, apparently I didn't finish it. Let's do that again. Oh, nope, didn't finish it again. Let's watch that in slow motion. So, I try to fire. We put in two shells. We close the barrel. We pull back the hammers. And we still try to aim down sights too early, which means no no shooting for you. Not cool, is it? So, I'm gonna fast forward. We kill everyone around the facility with a horrible shotgun, and we find Siori, or whatever his name is, Siori. And um, he says, all right, for helping me out, I'll tell you what I know. Mole is waiting for me. He dug up Strelik's stash, but I don't know if he found anything. Gives us some money, gives us a spot on our map, so now that's what we're up to next. You are all caught up. We talked to a guy, and he told us to talk to a guy, he told us to talk to a guy. So that's what we're doing next. Also, because the guy that we just spoke to is hurt, I'm going to give him a first aid kit, and that will make him a friend for what it's worth. Nice. What are you going to do? Shoot back? Oh shit. Okay, cool. Headshot damage. That's my name. Don't wear it out. First name, Headshot. Last name, DiMaggio. Like, uh, Bender. Where the fuck are these fools? They all out of camp? I'll take it. Because, look, they've got a box here full of ammo. And, look, I will literally take it. A hundred rounds? Yeah, well, thank you. Look at all this shit on the ground. Vodka, food, bread, cigarettes. Oh no, 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 this is bullshit because actually... The dogs just dragged this dead dog over here. Like, did they make this pile so that they could eat all their food and have it in a pile? There's no way they're programmed to do that, right? Right? So I've run into a lot of anomalies, as you can see. Uh, real quick, we're gonna kill these pigs. This warhog. So anyways. But this tunnel. What a pain in the ass. I'm just trying to get from one side to the next. You have to go around. And look who's guarding the other way through. Fucking bandits. This shotgun, as much as I for some reason love it, I guess because it's a double barrel, how can I not love it? It's garbage. It's really bad. I'm just going to blame it for everything. I'm definitely going to blame it for this death. This is me being absolutely gobsmacked again by the dogs dragging bodies around. It blows my mind. Like, why do they bring them over and consolidate them into a pile? actually insane and when one dog group howls another group on the map that actually physically exists will hear it and respond just like dogs do in real life it's crazy so look we got the guys from the bridge and I'm like oh you know whatever they're investigating we're gonna punish them for it never mind they instantly spot us here comes the long con where we get up in the building and one tap everybody's ass and by one tap, I mean we shoot them 40 times, one bullet at a time. 
like this. Here we go. Mm, get him. Get him. Give it to him. Give it to him, Prince. Slap his ass. Give him a little tickle. Come on. More. Come on. There we go. Fucking finally. Now, I want to show this off because this is the loop of Stalker. You go do a main quest for someone, which is usually just pretty guided, you know. NPCs are being attacked. Defend them. NPCs are trying to walk somewhere. Escort them. After you finish the main story, they tell you to go do another thing. On the way there, you run into assholes, you kill them, you pick up their equipment, compare it to yours. It's a lot like Fallout. In the top right, though, it gives you a portrait and the person's name. It's really fucked up. Like in Fallout, sometimes you'd run into a guy and it's like, you know, NCR Trooper. No, in this, it's not NCR Trooper. It's fucking Alexis. Or whatever kind of Russian name. It's fucking Sasha. And, uh, right now, look, we got an AKS. Ooh, I'm just trying to get some stuff with good, uh, high condition so it doesn't jam on me. And I don't know how long things persist, but they persist for a long time. Those two AKs that I just dropped a second ago, they, they're still there if I go into my game right now. It's crazy. So, since we wiped out this whole area, it really behooves us to go through and look at an upgraded version of our pistol. I had that for a couple hours, in fact. And it's always worth it to loot the bodies because otherwise you're just wasting your ammo. So there's no XP in this game. It's just like Darkwood or Outward, something like that, you know. Uh, Resident Evil is probably a better example, a more like famous example. Um, this game is about your resources. Holy shit, four fucking army med kits? See, we made out like a bandit here. We traded some bullets and some health kits for a ton of good health kits. And we got all our ammo back. Plus we got a brand new pistol that's better. Yeah, every single gun too you can pick up and unload. It's a fantastic game. Next episode, we're going to make a ton of story progress, so get ready.